right? So, so guys, uh, a while back we tried an alternative way to generate AI images, AI art. Um, it's an alternative to Dolly. It's a community version. In one of our flashcards for our pro pay members, we talk about details of how that is generated and how daunting of a task is. And we were able to uh, attend a tech event at OpenAI, and OpenAI opened up with us to everyone. And we got it like about, you know, a few days before everyone else did. So we got to try the real DALI and DALI 2. And it's astounding what it can generate. Uh, first of all, you're looking at much higher definition, HD photorealistic images. So we tried quite a few things and it got really, really interesting. So I'm really excited to share with you today our interested, interesting art that is generated by DALI 2. Some of the things you will see is, you know, like Roman art interpreted by DALI representing modern objects like sushi, like uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, and it's where we live in San Francisco. And then... Also, you will see uh, interesting concepts like the, the raccoon portraits that we were generating, the royal noble raccoon portraits, but now done with Dali 2 in a very different manner. Um, and then you would also be able to see that us trying to attempt, us attempting to create a logo for the Ethereum merge. So it's like, it would be fun to create a logo or a sculpture for, to celebrate the merge of Ethereum. Not financial advice, crypto super risky, this is not endorsement, but I just thought it was, you know, it was a pretty big deal in the tech world that this merge, uh, Ethereum is moving from proof of work to proof of stake. So is there a, you know, if we were to generate a sculpture or artwork to celebrate that merge, what would it look like? So that, that has generated super interesting results and we're not artists, you know, we, we like artistic things. However, we cannot create the art for the life of us. So, so it was really cool to be able to see Dali be able to do that. And I think initially you were given 50 credits. That's 50 prompts um, for free to play with Dali. So that's pretty generous. You can definitely get some really cool results. You can sign up today. I think it's open access now. Um, but we blew through that really quickly. I was able to recharge twice at $15 each, and I got about 150 credits, I think, each time. And I went through that super fast because it was so fascinating. The iteration, the feedback loop for creating art using DALI is so fast. I mean, I think the DALI team made it very clear this is not to replace artists, but enable people who had want to do art and very curious about art to be able to do art, right? So like, it's kind of like us, like engineers who want to do something cool, but we don't have the time or the creativity or the medium and the skill to do that. So I thought, I thought it was really cool. First of all, with the raccoon portraits, we see photorealistic, almost sentimental, emotional portraits of the raccoon now, super HD, very easy, very quickly to switch. And you can see the facial symmetry is higher. The definition is higher. You really see great details. It almost has this like children's book illustration feel to it. It doesn't look as realistic as like photorealistic per se. It looks like high definition illustration. And also we can see the golden frames are really refined. The crowns are more fantastical. And so very interesting. But we quickly got beyond that. You know, at first we thought we we're just going to generate some cool raccoon portraits. But Dali can really do way more than that now. You can extend Dali. You can upload your own images. And there's a, um, a female engineer. She even generated her own digital outfit using Dali. By uploading her own image, you raise the face a little bit because Dali does not allow real faces yet. It's sensitive. It's easy to generate deep fakes that can be potentially harmful. And she was able to erase the dress part of her outfit and she is able to replace that with um, digital generated images, new digital outfit. And then she's able to chain it together using a different software into a video. I have not tried it myself, but it's a very interesting use of Dali, very creative. 
But very quickly, we've noticed that we can generate more than that. For example, this accidental portrait of Tesla. We actually wanted the car, but turns out Dali uh, was paying attention to Tesla, the person, the person. And you know, there's like a Tesla generator, and you touch it, your hair goes up, and static shot, like every, it goes everywhere. Somehow, I use that concept to generate this really cool portrait of Tesla. It, you know, they associate him with. This cool look in the uh, older uh, fresco-like wall painting style, and then able to give him like electricity thunderbolt. I've seen in a couple illustration variations, and then give him this like cool look around his hair, it's like this kind of like static halo. So very creative. It was definitely something I cannot come up with, even as the person who wrote the prompt. The result definitely surprised me. One thing I thought that was really interesting later on is when I was generating, I was getting more and more creative, using up all the credits really fast because I was like, "What if I do this? What if I do that?" So a real meta thing I did was like, "Okay, I want to have a pixelated image of an Asian female." Engineer listening to a lecture about Dali, which is represented with the avocado chair. That's one of the claim to fame generation Dali made. It's like a armchair in shape of avocado. Trivia fact: If you go to the Open AI office in San Francisco, you will see an avocado chair right there, the avocado armchair. So I was like, okay,、uh, I want a pixelated image. Of a girl listening to a lecture about avocado, and this is what it generated. I thought that was pretty cool, and then I was like, okay,、uh, what else? I want,、uh, you know, I'm I'm personally I'm very into mosaic art, so I was like, okay, I've been to Pompeii. I'm really fascinated by the fresco there. I'm very fascinated by Roman mosaic art. I was like, okay, can you generate a mosaic art of San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge for me? The result was really, really stunning. And that's starting to get really interesting. That really piqued my interest. So I was like, okay, can you generate a mosaic image of of avocado? You know, what's a Dali video without an avocado? So that was really cool, and it had the nice shading, the color variation. I thought, wow, this is really cool. But what about something that you know, it's not construction, it's not like.、Um, Something that's an older concept. That's a you know something that has existed for thousands of years. What if like I do sushi? Like there's never any sushi in Rome. So what happens? Oh, and it's really cool. It generates this like fish that's a more I would associate with this kind of fish that looks like more like a mackerel, which would be eaten in Japan and in sushi, like maybe like a marinated version of it, and then. Uh, it has a a crab like a soft shell crab like thing, and then it has a roll like like sushi roll like thing. So of course it's never seen, you know. There's no examples of sushi mosaic, but I thought it was that was very creative, right? And it's very well done. So I was like, okay, you know, I've seen these really beautiful frescoes in the museums of Pompeii, and when it was in Napoli. And when it was on display in San Francisco, I was like, "Okay, what if we do a fresco of San Francisco? It's kind of cool. You see the building are squarely kind of like Victorian, but without like only kept the boxy part without the ornate decoration. And you can see the Golden Gate Bridge starting to have a different look if it was a painting in Pompeii versus a mosaic、um, in、uh, a Roman mosaic." And then I was like, okay, what if I do dim sum? And obviously, it's like you can see that that's when Dali's data sets perhaps better trained with Japanese art than Chinese art because I don't see a lot of、uh, well generated result with that. But it's still very interesting. Somehow it senses all the plates are gonna be more like circular plates,、um, and you know the dim sum、uh, dim sum menu done in. Pompeii fresco wall mural style is kind of cool. It says it understand that dim sum is a bunch of small items, bite sized dishes lined up together really nicely. Some of them are round, some of them are square, um, and it's a lot of hard to distinguish the fine details. But you get the sense that is that. And also, I think I did Thai food that was really interesting. You got like two. 
Thai-looking figures in the image, and the food, like you can see variations in the artwork. That food is more associated with Thai food than not. Um, definitely see more HD images generated with any Japanese concepts rather than Chinese and other Asian concepts. So I, I also tried with like, what if we can do artwork like Yosemite, but inside of Chinese ink card or like the very expressive artist of Zhang Daqian, uh, who is like a very modern Chinese multicolor, like maybe like blue, green, and gold, very expressive um, painting style of mountains. I don't think it did that, but it was still a very cool like color painting um, of Yosemite, of the El Capitan, and of the, the Half Dome, actually, of the Half Dome. So that I thought that was really cool. It knows exactly what I was asking for. Um, I think the mirrors are very interesting, and I tried it. Okay, well, if we generate an image of Stanford, I, it got a little bit of that red roof, got a little bit of the palm trees, and what if we generate an image of like um, different locations and even Mount Rushmore to see just the interpretation, what does it mean by a Pompeii wall painting on Mount Rushmore? Like these things just didn't coexist in the same timeline, didn't coexist in the same dimension, but somehow Dali managed to put them together. And I thought that was really impressive. As an amateur person, like who is not an artist, uh, this is kind of beyond, way beyond my ability to be able to do it and able to generate it within a minute. I do think, you know, I don't think Dali would ever take the job of artist, but I do think this is getting into the realm of art very fast.